do we have a name for this? Are we just going to call it 40k absolutely not trophy or 40k guess the picture? 40k, 40K guess the picture. Okay. Welcome to 40k guess the picture. That would have been so good if all of us just screamed after you said it. Oh no. <laughs> wow, we, we all fucked up there. Okay, so the format we're going to go with is I show the picture, I explain who did it. If you cannot guess what it is, the person reads the description. Christina, you got you got your wake up. What's happening? Very shortly, I remember your descriptions. Does everyone else have theirs somewhere near them? Uh, you, you, I, I uh, have it. You can it. Yes, I'm, I'm looking. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm open oh, on my phone. Found mine. Oh fuck! I got to find mine. So, do you want to introduce yourselves? Should we start with Dicey? Uh, I'm Dicey. Very good. I'm a, co- I'm a cockroach to the door stuff. <laughs> Alice, you want to explain who you are? Hi, I'm Alice Shade Fish. I a niche internet micro e-celebrity who draws a lot of robots and space marines occasionally. Alex? Hi, I'm Alex. I am a illustrator and toy designer. And I uh, draw a lot of orcs. Christina, who are you? My name is Christina. I'm one. I'm a 40k artist from the Philippines, and I think um, I I draw a good space marine. You do, you draw a good space marine. You do draw a good space good marine. Space marine. <laughs> Silver Ruby. Hello, I'm Ruby. I I don't really draw a lot of 40k fan art now, but I'm kind of like a dabbling illustrator. It's all good. It's all good. I'm Tracy, or Benny. I'm a wargaming illustrator and webcomic artist from the UK. I completely forgot to include myself in the introductions, so I'm having to do it afterwards. I will include links to everybody's social media underneath the video. It would be wonderful if you could check out what they do outside of this. Let's kick things off. We've got a picture from Alice. Oh, goody. I said I'd do you early. I need everyone to try and guess what this is. I need you to try not to shout over each other. That's very interesting. Oh, I forgot what I wrote on it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't remove your captions. I just put this left it as is. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So what do we think this was actually meant to be? Um, it's a servo skull. With a big stupid camera. Oh no, wait, it's, it's a fucking power drone. Sorry. Alice, do you want to explain it, why you did what you did? Is it one of those, like, Dark Eldar surfboards? It is not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely I mean, nothing to do with Dark Eldar. <laughs> I'm like, it has to be an Eldar thing, but I just have no idea looking at this. I. I'll admit up front, I may have misunderstood the goal, <laughs> and I just kind of like, I'll just make a guess myself at what faction this belongs to. It sounds like a stupid Eldar thing, so I put Eldar wings on. I don't think you it's misunderstood. It's something the goal. that has I... a camera and then flies around. A servo skull, it would be my guess. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to read the description, Alice? <laughs> yeah. Angry Frisbee with a concertina. I had to look up what a concertina was. Holding a camera hanging out the bottom. And I just assumed the camera was what you meant, like, a shape, not actually, like, a real camera. <laughs> so I just made it a camcorder. Being that nobody got it, I will end your misery and show you what it was. All right. It was a towel drone. Ah! <laughs> so you okay. got it. Yeah, Dicey got it. It was just, it was nothing I... to do with Eldar. <laughs> <laughs> already made my prompts harder. Every single one of yours is categorically not the right faction, and I love you for it so much. We'll do one of Christina's before Christina falls asleep. It's a cat. It's a sad cat. Uh, Let me read the description. Can I read the description? Yes, you can. (laughs) Okay. Cat with really pointy ears and a horrible facial expression like it knows you did something. (laughs) What could it be? It's not this, right? <laughs> this cat is haunted by the horrors of mankind. This 
poor cat. Does Can anyone have a cat? No. Is it the is it the uh the the elder Yunari whatever that this big stupid cat or whatever the big lady has? I mean, it wasn't a euphemism. It is just a big cat. Is it yeah, a cat like who's cat who spent too much time on forty k Facebook groups? <laughs> is it some kind of squig? No, it's just a cat. It's a regular cat. It's this. It's it's a, a Gearinx. Oh, okay. It's just, a cat. it's just a cat. Yeah, but it's a horrible cat that knows what you did. Look at its face. All right. I I knew you didn't have a lot of time, so I just gave you prompts that were very accurate and very literal. It's just a cat. Or okay. Cat. Let's let's do uh, dices that we used for I used for a preview thumbnail. And I'm gonna have to censor. Oh, I don't like this one. <laughs> I didn't know we got two of twenty-eight drops. What? Oh, oh, it oh so, so, so the prompt I got was no. People have to oh, guess first. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, um, um. You can't just sit here and cry. You have to try and guess what the picture is. I'm confused. I don't want to look at it. it. Is it a? Thing? No. Is it a squig? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to take the picture was, away? Uh, prompt was mobile teeth, which is a ah. squig. Well, I, was, I was like, eh? Yeah, I mean, Dicey took it very literally. We've got different artists taking different. There we go, mobile teeth. Do you want me to take it away so you don't all have to look at it anymore? No, leave it. Okay. I think we should send this to a dentist office. I think this would go a long way. It's like the blood droplets, like it's fresh. Dicey, explain yourself. <laughs> Why did you make it horrific? There is nothing to explain. You you told me no more with teeth. Even though I knew it was gonna be a squeak, I was like, oh, I'm gonna um, let people suffer. Okay. <laughs> I let people suffer. It's like it up and jumped out of someone's mouth. We will do one from Silver Ruby, this little friend. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful little man. Oh, oh, I love him. I want to give him a ride. An orc guy. My guess. One of the orc guys. <laughs> Am I supposed to confirm or are you supposed to confirm? No, I can confirm. It, it's more... I... Okay, <laughs> I am not entirely sure. Is it yeah. Makari? Yes, it is Makari. Okay. I was reading the description and I was like, I feel like I've seen this mini before and it has to be an orc one. But I don't remember what clan or what group it is, so I just kind of went like her her and just like filled in the flag. Uh, yes, my favorite 40k saying up there with you know skull for the skull throne, and for the emperor, her her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is what ha this is what happens when we get someone with an extraordinary vi visual memory doing the prompts because this is what it should have looked like. Oh, it's literally the card. <laughs> you nailed it by just remembering what he looks like. Oh, he's so cute. He is. He's so tiny and so happy. That was a palate cleanser after we had to look at something that Dicey did. Yes, I well, you completely got, you got forgot. Coming, so at yeah. least one of them is disturbing, at least. Yeah, the last one I'm going to have to pixelate when it goes onto the internet. Thank you for that, Dicey. Should have told me to censor it. I didn't know you were going to draw a penis. <laughs> no. We, we got one from, from Alex now. Um, is that, um, God, what's his name? Oh, hold on. Uh, that guy who collects people. Mm-hmm. Forgot his name. Uh, I've never said it out loud, so I'm hoping that someone else does. Necron guy. Thick thighs. Yeah, I specifically wrote that he has to have thick thighs because he enjoys man-spreading. Because oh. I... You remember that one piece of art where he's just... Yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to read the description? Go for it, go for it. <laughs> Thick thigh metal skeleton who likes to manspread. He has a staff with a glowing ball held in sort of a flattened pincer shape. Has a loin cloth? Tabard? Made from <laughs> panels of interlocking metal, but has collected little sigils from things like Tau, Eldar, etc. on there. Shoulder pad swag. Has a bronze coffin shaped tag in the middle of his sternum. Pose you gave him from the, the hottest, the hottest kisses. Yeah. Or, like, just dab, dab and go. He's winding up the most powerful whip in Nene in history. Yeah, exactly. I really <laughs> like this one. This is good, Alex. We'll show one of mine, which, uh... Oh, dear. Alex wrote this, and I feel so much guilt following his picture up with it, but... <laughs> oh. 
What? It's Groot. It's Groot. And, and what else is it? And that's a Groot dog. Well, I, I like the, the, you know, the knife tied to the, to the god, you know, the <laughs> touch. Do you want to read the Discord link? Uh, have you got it in front of you? Because I've got too many windows open. Oh, I've, I've got the description. Go, go on, Alex. <laughs> a tall, lanky guy with a big beak, like a bird or a turtle. They've got a spray of long quills coming off the back of their head and long, digitigrade legs. Their limbs also have small quills poking out. They wear minimal clothes. They're armed <laughs> with an assortment of knives, maybe a pistol, and a long rifle. The rifle is also armed with many knives. See? They have a dog... Of like many folk who own a dog for a while, the dog looks like them, and they look like their dog. What? <laughs> okay, that's okay. great. They look like their dog. Dog has a guy. Yeah. Are the guys tied to the gun? <laughs> I didn't know how else to arm a gun with a knife. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they do look like that. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I, I tried. <laughs> That's a good description. <laughs> I love their pissed off, like, dippy bird faces. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember what a crew looks like. This will do. Okay, we're, do <laughs> we're doing one of Christina's. Why, why, does, why does the dog have a knife on its tail as well? What the fuck? It's... It didn't. It's it's gonna carry something. How's it gonna carry it in its hands? Danger wagging. The, the weird like bondage girdle. <laughs> oh. The grim darkness of the far future is only knife dogs. <laughs> okay, we're doing one of Christina's, and I, I can't. I can see how you got to this answer. I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! He's very happy. I love him. This is wait, wait, very wait. Wait, did you say this is 40k or does it include also? This is a 40k picture. Do you want to try and guess what it's a picture of? Is it also a screen? I can't wait to figure out how we got here. Like a big world looking crazy. Christina, would you like to read the description for this? Yes, and this one's, um... So it's a horrible little bitey dinosaur running along on two legs, but then they took the front hands off. That's very sad. And replaced um, and replaced them with with um, put with long blades along its shoulders. They put a bunch of protective paneling, and that's it. Oh, it's a hormigon. <laughs> I should have figured that out. Nope. Very close. Oh, that's that's it. It. Yeah. I was gonna guess. Yeah, so it's some kind of narrative. Termagant was the one with swords. Now I have to remember that. Oh my god. I see. See, you were very, very I, close. Just you were pretty close. <laughs> protective panels. Oh, these yeah. are all I know how to do, guys. <laughs> Christine is like Space Marine. We only have Space Marine. <laughs> it is adorable. It is. I love it uh, so much. <laughs> Battle Mace fifty two hundred Tyrant Morph. <laughs> we'll we'll do one of Alice's, which is it, this is the first prompt I sent you, and yeah, um. This is the one that I realized that you had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Would, would anybody like to guess what this is? Red. I... It's fucking amazing, whatever it is. <laughs> what did you say, Dicey? A dreadnought? No. Is it one it's... of the Mechanicus walkers? No. Is that one of those, uh, no. those two-legged Cadian or... You try to say sentinel, and you would think so, but no. I made oh. this so much harder by misinterpreting what back to she belong to. Would you like to read the God, prompt you, for this one? You are just misdirecting me everywhere. Is it a battle suit? No. <laughs> a a toe battle the description, suit. The description is, they put a VW Beetle on giant-ass mech legs, strapped two giant cannons onto it, and gave it a face where the side door should be. That's what the googly eye is supposed to represent. Oh, fucking cool. loaded. Yeah, no idea. It's it's, 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 make it any clearer, I don't right? even know yeah. what it is. It's supposed <laughs> I to be. I would have drawn something similar. <laughs> Give it that prompt. It's supposed to be a knight. <laughs> <You know. laughs> it's a VW Beetle on legs with two cannons and a face. It. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, yeah the, the problem was when I was trying to visualize a VW Beetle, I'm like, why? Like sideboard, but then it would be sideways. That doesn't make sense to me. 
Oh, I get it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we were going. You gave it a roof rack. Why? For the guns. Oh, oh obviously. God. I think this was the most beautiful miscommunication I've seen so far. Oh lord. Okay. I so a little guardsman behind the tree. You did. <laughs> Make it worse. <laughs> he looks so, so serious. So we've got two from Ruby to do. Do we want sexy or do we want strange? Yes. Sexy. What? Oh. You just remembered what you drew, didn't you? I feel like you should do the sexy one because you could see like a very marked degradation of what I knew I was doing. Like, you did also write, I gave up because it wouldn't be sexy if I wrote all of the prompt. Oh, you yeah, ignored <laughs> half the prompt, but whatever. <laughs> Jotaro. Is it, uh, Yarrick? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's yeah. Is he wearing? Is he wearing stockings? What did you do? <laughs> it's oh, it's a thigh high. He's wearing. Oh, wait, did I misread? Cap. Did I misread the description? I don't. I don't know what I wrote. I don't think I wrote that it was in thigh high boots. Okay. You wrote human. So this guy is yelling mad, but he's probably all right about it. He's got one eye. The other has been replaced with a cybernetic. He also has one mechanical arm that looks really janky. Cables are trailing off it around to his back. He's tall, wearing a long tunic or a long coat, sashed at the waist, and a saber tucked into the sash. Mm. He's also wearing a hat with a skull logo on the front, a breastplate with the skull on the front that I ignored, mm. and a big blocky pistol with a skull on the side. I guess you meant the skull is on the side of the pistol, but not on the side of his leg. Okay, whatever, but anyway. <laughs> I love it, but you just I deliberately one. misinterpreted it. <laughs> I, for one, am very down for, for like, strapping young Yarek, only 79 years old. <laughs> I forgot that I wrote these descriptions so detailed, and then by the end I was just like, a dog. Because <laughs> <laughs> dog. Oh, draw a dog. A cat with a funny face. Draw a weird dog. I mean, Christina's face. description was actually very apt. There was nothing more you could say about a Gearynx. It's a cat that knows what you did. But yes, this is Yarek, and I was giving people themed prompts, and then also I gave up. So you had Makari, and then you had Yarrick, and I was like, I can't think of a third picture. Um, something else entirely. Admit, like, I knew who it was when I read the description, but I absolutely had no idea, like, which arm or what eye he had missing, so I was just like, I'm just gonna make a wild guess. Do we want to see something horrific from Dicey, or something from Alex? Dicey. Dicey. I'm very excited. Okay, this is NSFW. Is it, I'm gonna have to put it up as sensitive content. Okay. Oh. Kind of nervous. You want me to censor it? And keep no, it's people. fine for this, but when I put it out anywhere else, I'm going to have to censor oh, it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, I don't like this. This is full cock out. Oh, thank you. Why? So I just spent the last hour telling you there were huge penis in the picture. Why are you so far? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know what I'm looking at, though. Like, I wasn't ready for it to be his whole actual dick. I thought it was going to be, like, tentacle. Like, oh, look, it kind of looks like a pee-pee. It's like, no, it's just his whole cock. I was on the bus when I got this, and the way the buses are set up in the UK is everyone can see over the shoulder of the person in front of you. So I was, like, scrolling through the pictures that Dicey loaded, and then I, I opened this, I was like, oh my, okay. <laughs> I, I want to take a guess and say this is, like, a nurgling. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. A very small, very round little guy has one eye and some very small horns. Naked. Oh. Happy about it. Okay. <laughs> then why didn't you draw the PP upwards if he's happy? I don't know. I don't know. He, 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 that's just his natural I, state. I, I legit like I expected just like a disembodied penis just by itself. No, I would have made him redo that That's if so he just better. submitted a ball sack on its own. Y you know, like, <laughs> I wanted to say, like, if this wasn't restricted to 40k, I'd be like, this is some very naughty uh, attack on Titan. I feel like in a dystopian setting, there is like a sign you half see in the opening scene that just has Dicey's little nurgling with his PP out, like, on it, like a neon sign. I don't know why it gives me that vibe. <laughs> What what would the animation be? Because neon signs do things. He's doing a little dance, a little shuffle. It would just waggle side to side, like left, right. <laughs> he needs to pick the spot from left to right, and that's about it. This is a flock around. I don't think he's got the, the blood supply to get that thing all the way up. It's like the length of his body. Power of chaos is shocking, 
We can't. It's, it's 1.25 a.m. Alex, this is the, uh, the one with the hair description. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Do you, do you have the second version of this one? On? I do, but let's let's. All right. Uh, is, is my... This guy, the description, or I guess guess first. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that's uh my boy. That... I forgot his name. I love how every single one of you went. It's that dude. What is he called? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's him. Tackery it's guy. It's, it's tin foil hands man. It's he tosses the salad. Christina. What? <laughs> when I did a podcast with Christina, she didn't know what the expression toss the salad meant. So at the end, we were like, who would bring the best food to a barbecue? And she went, Ferris Manus, because he's great at tossing salad. And I had to hold it together for the rest of this phone call. Fuck, I, I, I don't know. It, 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 in the windows. I had no idea. I meant real salad, guys. Is that why he and Falker were such close friends? <laughs> yeah, hands are out here skating fast and eating ass. Uh, Alex, <laughs> just, just just read the I description. Mean, hands, so obviously. <laughs> Alex, what did I write? A space marine. Sorry. Middle-aged man, not yet going gray, who looks like he has a haircut to work at Home Depot. Coincidentally, Aww. has a large two-handed sledgehammer. His backpack is all geared up like a Swiss Army knife. He, for some reason, forgot to get dressed properly, so his space marine armor stops at the elbow. Someone then tripped this guy into the counter at Hot Topic, so he's covered in various chains. He has the facial expression of someone who this has happened. I guess <laughs> No! Oh my god! I think that. Alex submitted that. I didn't ask for this one. This is the, can the, the historically accurate <laughs> Ferris Manus. Unfortunately, I downloaded the actual picture of Ferris Manus from uh, Pinterest, so it's come up as a web dot and won't let me upload it into the chat, but I think we all know what he looks like at this point. We yeah. all know what he looks like. But he, oh, there we go. He does look like someone who's just had a, enough of Ferris. today. Boy. Uh, <laughs> this series of the about to yell at like, maybe one of my least favorite. <laughs> this guy's about to yell at a gas station worker over like bad coffee. This, this receipt was incorrect, sir. Okay, <laughs> M moving on to the next one of mine, so we can just pretend I knew what I was doing before I realized what it was a picture of. <laughs> what? What? It, what? Crib um... <laughs> This is the, the description that Alex submitted to me, but it's two parts, so I'll have to read it out. No, it is not. It is not an Elder Ranger. Is it a Harlequin? No. Oh, it's it's uh, one of those uh, the Wookies. Not not Cadians or what? What are those guys? Uh, fuck. Uh, Tannis first. Yes, it is. It is a Tannis. Oh, okay. Uh, so let me read the des description, because I did both halves of this, because he sent it in two pieces. A man leaning down from a tree branch, menacingly. He's got a salt and pepper goatee and a big cloak. He's playing with a big knife and has a rifle slung over his back. There's probably a commissar nearby. <laughs> and then there's just a lot of description of how well his cloak works, and how he killed a chaos dreadnought with a cactus. Absolute cryptid. <laughs> I just want that commissar for like an app. Uh, it's just like there's probably a commissar nearby. I was like, I'm not drawing an entire commissar. There we go. Do you want to name the dude, Alex? Because I, I. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, Owen McCall. There we go. I was like, I thought it was going to be Larkin. I don't remember his actual rank because it also changes. Until you said who it was, I thought it was Larkin, and then it's. Uh... If you flip it upside down, he's kind of in among us. I, I drew this upside down because. Um... <laughs> I like how leaning down menacingly from a tree became hanging like a bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be menaced, wouldn't you? I'd be terrified. Okay. So. Christina's last picture. So. Yeah. Christina's horrible little picture. It's depressing. It's I horrific. I, you spoiled this to send it to me, and I was just like, no, I don't want this. <laughs> oh. oh, no. It sucks. Oh. It's <laughs> Kind of cute though. What oh, is like, what is this little guy? I love this. Guy. I have no idea. Is this a frog? Is it what? Sorry. Oh god dang. Frog? What about? I, I, I assume I it is pronounced frog. slow. Yeah. Wow. With like a at the end. Trench coat full of worms. 
yo, that's what they used to that's what they used to call me back in college. I never used to call. I mean, you nailed it. You made everybody unhappy. I think your your job here is uh, successful. I, I love this whole guy. I mean, I don't, but I do. Uh, I've got to pick one of these to be the thumbnail for the video, and I'm still traumatized by every single one of them. <laughs> oh, here's an idea. Dicey's a little miracle, but you know, block out the the big part. <laughs> It cuts off at the waist, so no one thinks it's going to be terrible. <laughs> or I put the logo for the video across his, his uh, thighs, so no one knows what it is until they watch it. Because YouTube has an algorithm where you have to use an actual face for the video to do well. And I was just not going to do that, but pick one of these pictures. The comments are making the YouTube face. Oh no. <laughs> it's like a little red circle around the nerdling, like in the back. Use the massive, uh, what's the font, what's the meme font? Impact. impact. Massive impact font going, you won't guess what this is. Secrets <laughs> revealed. 40k <laughs> theories. <laughs> okay, next one. This is Alice's. This, this is, like, the Shh. one where I had zero fucking idea what it was. You actually got very close. Oh, I, I think I know what this is. No one knows what it's called, but go on. Is it the AdMac uh, Fly? What is it? Uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. AdMac, the, the flippy, flippy thing. Yeah. Yes, it is. Which is why it makes slightly less sense that there is a Night Lord set in there. <laughs> my, okay, I'll read the description and I'll give my justification. You, um, you, you literally put a, put a, like a trap action in every fucking single picture. <laughs> yeah. Take the blades off the helicopter, give it mechanical bat wings up top, and a fin fishtail at the back where the rudder should be. So I had zero idea, like, this sounds like a, a Warhammer fantasy vehicle. I'm like, I don't... The Batwings, I'm like, it would be funny if I just made it a Night Lord. You got really close. Oh, yeah, it really looked like that. <laughs> you got incredibly close, fun. though. You can see where we both came from with this. Um, apart from the fact I didn't describe that apparently it has feet, which I didn't oh, see. I just gave him feet. Yeah, you gave him feet without knowing. There will be Night Lords in 30k. Watch out. Okay, next one is from Alex, and you're all going to get this one wrong. He's what? very accurately drawn the wrong thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it cute. another cow drone? No. It's, it's the noble thingy, my Bob. No. The four... No, it's not. No, no, wait. Okay, so, it's the so horse it's... heresy ad back one. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. This is where I, I fucked don't up. This, all these stupid names. No, I'm not expecting right. you to accurately name the model. Alex did not have any kind of chaotic thing written in the description, but did this anyway. Do you want to read the description? Yeah, sure. <laughs> a giant kidney bean broken into five segments, overlapping like a pill bug shell, held up by two large turbine fans, one strapped to each side, roughly in the middle of the bean. As a cluster of eyes at the front end of the bean, and some cables and little pincers underneath. Please stop saying the bean like that. The mess of cables is a gun that uses electrical coils to charge up and fire. Someone decided to also strap a pair of missile launchers onto the bean. The mid <laughs> the, de the new death card models are looking crazy. Like, I'll admit, the first set of descriptions I wrote were significantly longer, and then I realized I didn't want to do it repeatedly. But yeah, that's what it is. I was not aware that there was a non-nerd. To be fair, this one looks just painted up pretty nerdily. It, it looks incredibly close to the picture, it's just... It added, like, chaos stuff to it. Yeah, it's like, I know what this is, I'll draw it. It's like, no. I honestly would have thought they would have been a blight drone, too. Yeah, this was my bad for not realizing. This is the one... Yeah, but... But, you, you know, one of those things where, like, you always see the aftermath, but you never think, oh, there was something that came before. Yeah. Yeah, this is entirely my fault for not realizing that was a 30k model. But I still love what he did. This is Silver Ruby's last submission, which is clearly where Silver Ruby <laughs> ran out of time. Ah, uh, hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Moves. Um, it's the Martian robot, the big battle thing. Mm-hmm. A Stellan? Yes. Oh, I thought it was like the, um, not the Kill Team, but the uh, Necrolunda one. I think it's very oh, similar. Sure. Okay, when you said Castellan, I'm like, oh, I see it. I just noticed they these have like the joints busting out of the actual Among Us knees. <laughs> would, you, would, you like, oh, no. would you like the description? 
because I you see the question marks there because I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Fat robot, big dumpy round Baymax type motherfucker, round domed Among Us type head on a thick torso, has articulated oh arms legs that are jointed at the knee and elbow. Though. Oh boy. Has super chunky gauntlets. One is a hand with two fingers and one thumb. The other is just a nozzle. Sticking out of a backpack and pointing up over the shoulder is a flamethrower, but it looks comically small and out of place. Cog logo on the fat gauntlet and shoulder pad. It's correct. I just, science I just, I honestly, I was like, what is this? See? It's correct. Okay, way off. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> kind of not. <laughs> you're right and wrong at the same time. That's the beauty of this. It does look like Among Us. Yeah, this is the one that everyone remixed the helmet to look like Am Among Us and weird little astronauts. So I thought you'd remember it. Could you imagine a guard regiment with this horrible little Among Us as like their like logo? <laughs> just like on every shoulder plate, just painted on. In my defense, I tried to pick things that you would remember even if you didn't play the game. Mostly. You all need to see my last picture, don't you? Oh, no, Dicey's. We need to see Dicey's last picture. Oh, I want to see you see yours. We haven't seen yours in a while, have we? Yes, you made fun of my guy hanging upside down in a tree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, vote. Who do we finish on, mine or Dicey? Let's finish on yours. All right, because yeah. it is easily the worst example of understanding a prompt in this entire game. Okay, this is Dicey's. Yeah. Oh. Evil female. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Dicey, why does it have one arm? I noticed this morning, but... <laughs> hey, 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 you already described one arm. That's all I'm gonna draw. I mean, I didn't describe the amount of arms on the naked man either, and you gave him two. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Is that Abaddon? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it is. I just, did you say that? It suddenly makes sense. Oh my the bike God. helmet on the trophy rack. It's a little fleur de lis on the railings, I love. Oh, those are chaos stars? I thought they were spider webs. <laughs> I thought they I... were gunshots. Oh, me too. <laughs> Dicey, please read the mess I sent you okay. to describe this. Okay, so a guy in armor gives him the profile of a refrigerator with a <laughs> fence railing jammed at the top of it. There's stuff stuck on the railing. Gold, a helmet. Things people have lost. Oh. <laughs> Has a bunch of shredded cloth and fur hanging on the thing. Chaos stars slapped around like decorations on a Christmas tree. Old, apart from a very high top knot that is as tall as the stupid railing. Giant flayed fingers on one hand. One hand, as you said, one hand. I didn't say, I said on one hand. I didn't say he didn't have another hand. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Uh, that's how it works. If we, okay. if we play this again, I want, I'm want i going to have to specify the amount of arms that everyone has, aren't I? Oh, also, this hand has power cables outside of the armor, and apparently there's a gun barrel into the wrist as well. And also, he's angry. <laughs> just the barrel, though. Yeah, just the barrel. I mean, it's, it's not wrong, anything you've done, but it is also, he does have more than one hand. The awful thing is, you can guess what this is by looking at it quite well. Dicey, you need to sculpt this so people can 3D print it and keep it <laughs> Oh, new, new mini coming right up, folks. But he does have the profile of a refrigerator. Whole line of space read proxies, but they're just wearing different appliances as armor. Oh, I know why he's only got one arm, because I was about to write he has a sword and then didn't and went to bed. <laughs> So it all comes out. Well, no, I mean, I wouldn't expect someone to only draw one arm of a person if I didn't describe the other one. <laughs> That's not how it works. We can only charitably call him a person at this point. The, the, the refrigerator man. You gave him two legs and I didn't describe those. Uh, it's not <laughs> bad enough, okay? <laughs> this is a minimal requirement of a person. All right, who wants to see what I did? Let's see it. Oh. This is very I, thought you said we were, I thought you said we were done with the sexy prompts. <laughs> what is sexy about this? They are holding a butt. Valley. It's not a butt, Christina. It's a ball sack. Oh, I know what it is. It's a um. It's a hive tyrant. Is it? Is it? Yes. <laughs> I think you're right. Yes. Oh, I thought it was a Necron. I recognized the, the whip and the sword. I'm like, the only units oh. that have a whip and a sword in 40k are tyrants. 
Do you like where I, I've drawn the gun? Because if you don't pay me, I won't draw a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have a nutsack in his I don't know. Why the target have a gun, nutsack? they've got the balls kicked on one side for the ammo. What are you... Oh. Dicey, read the description you sent to me, because I was like, what is this? Is it a gene steal, or is it a... Uh, I did not know what this was right. until after I'd finished, which is the truest way to do anything. Look at, the, look at that big bulging sack. It's a nut sack, oh, or huh. I, I guess it does look like something. Yeah. Yes, but would you like to read okay. what you wrote me? Also, that... So, he's, he's very bony. Yeah. In one hand, he carries a sword. In the other, a whip. And in the other, a gun, and in the other, a ball sack. And he has a big funny headdress, and he also has a tail. <laughs> my, my, my instructions are very clear, okay? They are, and I've, I've met them. Really incomprehensible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. I was like, headdress, it won't be anything, like, won't be anything I understand, so I'm just going to put this in. I went with, like, the flapper. Oh, no, I left, I've sent the shitpost version with the blush on the cheeks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, it's better that way. Well, I think it's better that way. For this entire game, I like mentally forgot that Tyranids were a thing. <laughs> I was like, how would a skeleton have a tail? I'll just tie it on the back there with some string. It's fine. I, I met oh, the objective. God. Thank you. <laughs> my, my instructions are very clear. Okay? They are very clear. Unfortunately, I didn't get to your other ones, but I'd like you to read them and then explain what they were. Oh, okay. I didn't have time uh, to do them. them. Yeah. He is very big. He is on a giant mobility scooter. He carries his rings on the back of the mobility scooter. He is missing one hand, and where the hand should be, he has a skull. He is very angry about this, so he carries the big axe on the other hand. He also has a cannon right over his crotch. Ooh. Is this Ooh. one of those admic robots? It's like a servitor, but not like the little one of those tracked servitors i don't remember the name of it's the one necron unit that flies around isn't it with the hands oh no i know what it is ah oh, fuck right the fact that dicey sent me the picture of this before we started recording and i've forgotten um <laughs> okay keep guessing it's the yeah, lord of skulls it's the like an orc thing it's the big corn guy the the big the big oh the big lord of skulls oh, mm. oh wow he oh yeah i forgot about the the dick corn gun. And it, he carries his game of fuel on his back, as you can see. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so what I thought this was, was those, uh, you, you'll see where I came from with this. So I, th I, I thought it was I this. I just realized something, Betty. Yeah? You know how you were like, oh, oops, I thing that you thought was a blight drone was actually a 30k thing, so it's not really 40k. Ferris Manus is also only a 30k. Yeah, but he exists. Uh, we know who he's... Oh, no, he died. Yeah. <laughs> he's like the deadest Primark. But yeah, you see where I was coming from with is it one of these? Yeah, pretty close, yeah. but... Similar they'll have the crotch cannon. And the game of you. I didn't know that. Okay, re read your last one. Okay, so... Uh, he carries a big leaf blower sucker. The leaf blower sucker has a giant sucking part, and the blowing part, which is just three balls spinning. Little oh, people, no, I don't, I don't know what this is. little people don't like his leaf blower sucker. This person is very smart, and he wears goggles. Oh, it's um, it's it's Fabby Smile. No, it's a, it's a big back with a shock attack gun. Yes, it is. Yes. It's it's an orc. I I stared at this and I stared at this and I was like, I can either get anything done today or I can draw this because I don't know what it is. So I had to choose to actually get things done. But it's it's this. But you didn't write little people. You just wrote people don't like his leaf blower. Not like. <laughs> yeah, you, I I didn't think that you wrote little people. I thought you just wrote people in general didn't like his leaf blower. I was like, I don't know how to illustrate that. So whoever chopped. Whoever chopped the background off of this miniature also chopped out the hose for the sucker. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it just looks like he has a bucket that I... destroys rods and unrelated, he has a giant gun. <laughs> Benny, I know how you could have illustrated that people don't like it. You put a big red cancel in impact capex over the image. <laughs> I pixelate it and go, not for eyes. Oh, good lord. Um, 
but yes, that I had to pick between the general grievous sexy skeleton and that one for something to do, and I went with the skeleton. But thank you for staying up late, Christina and Dicey. Even though I know that Dicey would be alive anyway at this time. Yeah. Thank you for horrifying us with your worm people and uh, your penis nurgling and your uh, Alice's prompts that are well beautiful to me because they're all completely wrong incomprehensible yeah it was the way everyone oh it's a sentinel and i was like no is it no is it no this is me showing my hand about how little i might actually know about 40k well i tried to set everybody something recognizable and a miniature so there was like equal chance of people guessing and then the uh no it didn't work (laughs) three of them i'm like i've got no idea what this is supposed to be. Throw a special. I'm like, I don't know, because I kind of forgot the Tau existed beyond battle suits. Anyway, thank you so much for everyone taking part in this, and I'm thank sorry you. for your internal stress. So much fun. Actually. That was super fun. Thank you. <laughs> Just more often. 